We've definitely seen evidence of global warming as athletes who compete on snow. That's something we rely on. And, and more and more, I've seen man-made snow um, being more, more heavily relied upon. We've seen a dramatic increase in, in temperatures when we're on course. Pyeongchang, it was mid 60s to low 70s, same in Sochi, and those aren't winter conditions necessarily. Being here in Switzerland is a pure physical testimony to how gnarly climate change is. Where we are right now in South Bay up on the glacier, you can tell a huge difference with what it looks like now compared to even five years ago. This trip in particular, there's just chunks of ice breaking off which in the years past would happen like maybe once while I was here. They're trying their best to keep up the parks up here, but um, you can definitely tell that the, the snow is slowly melting. To see how much the, the ice has shifted just in the last few years is, it's mind boggling. It's pretty scary to see it all happen and, you know, see some winters being crazy good and then some winters like no snow at all. So it's definitely kind of a trip to watch. It's definitely something that we all need to keep an eye on and do our little parts, whether it's just something inside your home um, and doing what you can to make a difference because it is affecting all of us in our winter sports. One of the big things I think is important to realize, it's easy to get discouraged when you're thinking about the whole climate change issue. But look, when you look at sport, you, you see underdogs pulling off amazing things all the time in spite of all the odds. And we as individuals in a global community we might be underdogs at times in this struggle, but we've got to keep fighting and keep believing. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.